In this video, I'm going to be sharing something with you in regards to dealing with depression. Most of you probably haven't come across this before. My hope is that you're going to find this uh, really interesting, helpful, and beneficial. Um, the place that I'm coming from is as a professional uh, working in the computer industry for many years, never really having been affected personally by a severe form of clinical depression but certainly having people in my sphere uh, being affected by it, whether it was friends, families, co-workers. The friends that I had were in different industries, not just in computing sciences, but they were in you know, uh, the fields of financial advising, uh, accountancy, you know, especially the legal profession. Certainly uh, had friends and associates that were in the medical field. And you know, it's very difficult if you are considered, a, especially like a, a leader in your community or you're someone that it has a very um, you know, strong background academically, and um, you're dealing with this. Not a lot of people you can talk to without putting yourself at risk. I remember one fellow who was a stockbroker and a financial consultant, really well placed uh, in the entire United States, a you know, super client list, and uh, he was worried about just getting out, and he had to deal with a few different issues, including depression. Um, and what I want to do in this video is not just address you know, the concern that professional people have when they have to go through it, but this video is also intended just for anyone. You know, it doesn't matter what your background is, it doesn't matter if you're like a high school student you know, or if you're adolescent, you know, uh, if you're retired. Uh, the important thing is you know, let's see you get some help, let's see you get some real tangible support. The, this conversation is going to be fairly you know, casual. I'm just going to share basically you know, what I've found and what I've, what I've come across and you know, so, some real um, tangible tools that you can use right away, fast, easy, simple, you know, to get a handle on that. Um, there's a couple of things I want to share, just some, some text content, uh, also some ideas, and um, I'm going to provide some actual tools that you can use. I, I think <clears throat> one of the things that I want to just impress upon you first, though, is that, you know, for a number of people watching this video, uh, when that depression hits you, um, sometimes it can feel like an overwhelming gravity. It's like um, it doesn't really matter what anyone you know says or does. The momentum and you know the energetic driving force of this feeling of despair—it's so overwhelming that it's just it's it's impossible even to just get up off the couch sometimes. And you know, I've been guilty in situations where someone close to me was suffering from depression more severe than I might have realized at the time. And my initial answer was, well, look, you know, why don't you just do something about it? You know, just get up off the couch, you know, get out of bed. You're, you're making your situation worse. Not realizing, uh, unfortunately, that the state that person was in uh, was so acute that they, they really didn't even have, you know, the physical, mental or emotional you know, energy or ability, you know, to do anything. Um, and certainly not listen to my, you know, annoying voice telling them to get over themselves and get up and do something. Um, there have been times in the past where I've dealt with, the, you know, a form of depression. Uh, I don't think it was clinical, but it was, you know, it was acute enough. And it, it lasted, you know, for months. Um, usually if something gets me down, I, it doesn't take much. I, you know, I always, I tend to see the light side of things. I get up and I, I move again. But in the past, you know, when it hit me hard, um, it was really difficult to just cope day to day. You know, tying my shoes was a, was a hard thing to do. Uh, and the, I, I think one of the things that I noticed the most um, was negative self-talk. You know, a situation where you have some track going on in your head and, you know, it's a voice that's bringing to your attention all of the, you know, actual or imagine, you know, imaginary things that you've done that are just wrong. You know, here's why you're a bad person. Here's why things are never going to get better. Here's why we might as well just give up now. And that's debilitating. Um, you know, if you're in a situation where you've got this negative self-talk loop going over and over in your head, consciously and consciously, you know, before you go to sleep, when you're getting up throughout the day, it's tough. You know, I mean, there's a reason that in society they have cheerleaders. It's meant to encourage people. But how horrible is it when you've got this voice in your head that's it's not trying to support you, it's just trying to bring you down. Um, a lot of the people that I talk to, um, especially professionals, you know, people that... You know, we're making a good living. We had a had a reasonable framework socially um, that would get crippled by you know depression or other things like you know anxiety, you know PTSD. 
post-traumatic stress disorder. These are things that would, would pop up at the most inopportune moments. The solutions that would tend to be available, you know, to their minds were limited because you're either going to deal with pharmaceutical drugs. Um, there are, you know, the various natural, you know, substances like herbs and different kinds of supplements that you can take. Um, and, you know, certainly different kinds of counseling or therapies. But depending on a person's situation and, you know, their constitution, um, their circumstances, these you know, traditional solutions aren't always, you know, viable or preferable. Uh, you know, there's no shortage of people that, don't, that just do not want to take drugs anymore. And, you know, certainly there's lots of antidepressive drugs that you can take uh, that will make your situation temporarily better. But, you know, the crappy thing is, is that it'll put stress in other parts of your body. You know, it's, it's, it's fantastic if you get over your stress. It's fantastic if you get over your depression. It's not so great if it damages your liver or something in the meantime. You know, or causes other kinds of you know side effects. You know that you're just not happy about, including behavioral side effects or emotional side effects. You know, one thing I could, I've heard different people say is that you know, yeah, hey, that drug you know helped me with my depression, but everything fell flat. All of my emotions felt like they were just at a flat baseline. Nothing felt super anymore. Nothing felt exciting or happy. What happened to me? There's a long story behind it, and. You know, there's there's a reason that I feel like I have something meaningful to share with you. You can find out more about my my backgrounds if you go to our main YouTube channel and find out you know who am I and what am I about. You know, why should you pay me any attention? Um, but something happened to me a number of years ago, uh, and it had to do with a research and development project that I was working on, and uh, I discovered a new uh, technological solution, which is applicable to our conversation here. Uh, you won't find anything else like this on the planet. Um, the closest thing that, that you'll find is, you know, probably something along the lines of, you know, subliminal, you know, brain tapes or uh, binaural beat frequencies, this kind of stuff. But the technology that I s discovered is nothing like these. Uh, much more powerful, uh, nowhere near as limited, returns in a, in a much better um, uh, end result, you know, for most users. But one thing I want to share with you is, you know, some thoughts before we get to that. And um, I just want to bring your attention to a couple of concepts that I think are, are going to help you. One of the things that happens if you're in a situation where you're dealing with depression, especially if it's that kind of like ominous, heavy, you know, type depression, is this intense kind of, gra you know, gravitational inertia. Everything feels heavy. You know, everything takes extra energy, you know, to just get something simple done. And, you know, I know that for me, it often felt like I was, you know, I was like in a big room full of tar and I couldn't move and I just had those negative thoughts circling in my head. And it got to the point where this is a number of years ago where I felt like, you know, I just need a break. I need to have whatever these dark, heavy, you know, thoughts are, whatever this negative self-talk is, I need to have it stopped or broken up, you know, shattered, interrupted. And, I, and, if, and if I can interrupt it, I need to flush it away, like just flush it down the toilet bowl. And I need to start getting like better positive, you know, thoughts in my head. Because if I don't do that, if I can't get the tempo or the momentum of happy thoughts going out of my head, I'm going to be stuck in this crappy, shitty place. And I didn't want that. The discovery that I made facilitated uh, that wonderfully. Um, and it was a series of very special pulses and tones. Um, there was a geometry. One of the things that I discovered was that there's actually a very specific associated shape and geometry to emotional states, whether they're like positive or you know negative ones. Um, you can find out more about this in some of the other videos I've, that I've done. Uh, but what was going on with my negative self-talk was I'd been traumatized. I'd gone through a situation where some negative stimulus had presented itself in my life, and it was strong enough and intense enough, often enough, where it had just embedded this negative state in me. And so the discovery that I made allowed me to mute and turn that volume down. Then it let me erase it to a large degree and then get rid of it. And then what I was able to do was install a completely new pattern of the type that I wanted to. So I was pretty happy with that. Uh, currently, we have close to 5,000 members globally that are using this technology. But what I want to just kind of like, you know, present here, you know, concept or idea wise is imagine this. Imagine that you had a way to capture what it was like to feel happy, to feel optimistic, to not feel depressed. 
And imagine if you could put that in some tiny little device that you could carry around with you, easy, light, portable. You could either listen to this information signal going into your ears in headphones or not. You could use this little device and you didn't have to use headphones. You just had a special little device on it, a little coil that converted the normally audio uh, output into a, a small variable magnetic field. And so you wouldn't hear it, but you could walk around with this thing in your pocket and it would affect you. And it would give you a radius, like, kind of like a little protective bubble of about five to 10 feet. And you'd notice um, how much you know this was affecting you. Things would change. Yeah, that'd be a really huge relief. And a lot of the people that have been using this technology are, are thinking the same thing. <clears throat> I mean, because you know, you're in a situation where instead of spending, you know, having to spend like hundreds or thousands of dollars on counseling therapy specialists, you know, or expensive drugs that are not exactly healthy or helpful, um, you know, if you've got an option that's available to you uh, that's nowhere near the ticket price, and it's and it's just as, if not more, effective in many situations. You probably want to try that too. So here's what I'm going to suggest is I'm going to read a couple of things to you just because I think you're going to find them interesting and relevant to what we're talking about. And if you'd like to get more information, you know, on this special technology, you can shoot me an email or just, um, just click on the link in the comment section below. That'll take you to a little form page. Just type your information in there. I'll make sure that all of the information that you need to get started, you know, you'll get. Um, probably one of the most important things is this is experimental technology. Um, this is prototype technology. It's unique. Like I said, there's nothing like it on the planet anywhere. Um, so if you want to, you know, take a crack at it, if you want to try this, you know, solution, and if it's going to work well for you, and, and there's a very good chance that it will, you'll probably want to test it out free, you know, first, when you're first starting off. So down in the comments section, click that link. Just follow the instructions. Go ahead, send that off. And I will make sure that you get back a lot more information on what we're talking about, you know, some steps to follow. And you'll also get free access to your first set of frequencies, and you'll have access to a calibration test that we have. And what this what this does is it's a simple thing. You just listen to it online. You, you, you know, experience how you feel, and through a very simple test, it'll tell you, you know, whether you're very, you know, whether you're a good candidate for this or not. I want to just read this to you, though. This, this is one of my favorite books, um, Secret Life plants. It's, uh, it's, it's a pretty good read. There's a section in here uh, that struck me. I never forgot it. <clears throat> uh, I'm not saying that this is what you know my solution, my technological solution is, because it's not. It's actually quite different. Uh, but there's a similarity in the text, and it's super interesting, um, and it's relevant to what we're talking about. So um, the musical sound lies within the very hearts of atoms um, and is the content of a professor of chemistry now retired after a long career at John Hopkins University, Donald Hatch Andrews. In his book, uh, The Symphony of Life, Andrews invites readers to join him on an imaginary journey inside a magnified calcium atom taken from the bone beneath the tip of his forefinger. Inside the atom, says Andrews, there are shrill tones dozens of octaves above the highest tones of violin. The music of the atomic nucleus, the tiny particles at the center of the atom. If one listens closely, he continues, one is aware that this music is far more complex than familiar church music. There are many dissonant chords like those found in the music of today's modern composers. The whole purpose of dissonant music, according to Cyril Near Scott, the English composer and, and uh, philosopher, was to break up thought forms was to break up thought forms, which, settling over whole countries and people, turn them stagnant with lethargy or rampant with madness. It is a musical fact, says Scott, that discord, used in its moral sense, can alone be destroyed by discord. The reason for this being that the vibrations of intrinsically beautiful music are too rarefied to touch the comparatively coarse vibrations of all that pertains to a much lower plane. True to a point to a degree, but not entirely accurate. But here's the idea. Here's the, here's, here's the basic you know, gist of this. The depression that you're suffering, the anxiety that you're suffering, the PTSD that you're suffering, it has an associated profile or signature which can be ma manipulated. 
and the happy good feelings that you want to experience also have a similar kind of form. So imagine if we could break apart the form of the depression and flush it away. And then imagine if we could install the form of the positive one and get you rolling back into your life. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, there's one other last story I want to tell you, but I'll, I'll wait you know, for those that respond in the comment section. There's a lot more uh, super fascinating info, and I'll, I'll fill in more, uh, much more details about you know, what is the shape of thought? What is the shape of emotion? How, how can I offer some degree of tangible proof to this? Click on the link in the comment section. Once, once I've got that back from you, I'll send you off your free starter test kit to see if this works for you, and you'll get a whole bunch more of tasty information. And I hope this is of interest. Uh, make sure if you want, you can subscribe to our channel and also check out uh, our main YouTube channel and our website, uh, http um, www.soundofstars.org. Have a great day.